Okay, guys, uh, questions for Chris. Yeah, it's definitely special. Um, pretty unique because last year we were in New York, and then this year being able to spend with my family was really cool. But it's just having everyone around us and family, friends. Um, yeah, just this moment was really, it was really cool. Where does Portland fit? Um, did you work out for them? Did you have a lot of discussion with them? Yeah, I've had discussion with them. I wasn't able to uh, work out with them just um, scheduling scheduling wise, but yeah, I'm familiar with them and um, been in contact with some of the people and through the combine and all that. Um, so yeah, it's definitely gonna be a, a really good fit. I feel like, and just just looking forward to it honestly. The way things fell, did you have an expectation that you're gonna get picked by the Trailblazers there, or was that kind of a surprise? I kind of knew that, kind of be in that range. So um, I mean, yeah, it was just I, I felt like. It would be a good fit if I were to go there, and it just happened to work out. And um, just really excited to be there too. I did, yeah. I mean, just just got off the phone. They're excited to have me. Said they were said they were running through the halls uh, when they picked me. So I'm just definitely excited. Just just meet everyone and uh, get to pro. I think it'll be really 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 good situation. And um, Coach Bill's a good coach, so um, just, just looking forward to it. What do you think of the potential of playing with uh, Lillard and? Yeah, I think it's, it's a lot of athleticism, uh, smart basketball players. Um, Dame's been a guy who's been in the league for a long time. Um, he kind of knows the ins and outs of it. And Scoot's a really talented point guard. And I'm just looking forward to getting to know them even more and um, just kind of creating that bond. And, um, looking forward to a good year. You came close to maybe playing with your brother. <laughs> Were you thinking that at all? Yeah, I mean, it definitely came to my mind. It, 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 it would have it been cool. But, um, yeah, I definitely think going our separate paths and, being competitors first is going to be a really good opportunity for us. And, um, I mean, yeah. What would it be like playing against him? I mean, yeah, the first time it'll, it'll probably be cool. A lot of my family will probably head out head out west to watch that. And, um, I mean, yeah, it'll definitely be a fun game to watch. All my East and Iowa folks will probably be tuned into that game. So late, it's going to be it's going to be late night games nowadays. So. Yeah, it was in uh, it was in Portland actually. Portland. Uh, that camp was in August. Yeah, I got got to meet Dame. Um, just kind of, um, and a, f and a few of the players just came in and worked out. And I think just kind of getting a feel for his game and just kind of the way he works out, kind of hit home with me. And just kind of that that camp kind of helped me with my mentality towards this season. So I think um, just kind of visiting there in August and uh, being able to kind of get familiar with Dame and all their players. I think that's going to be beneficial to me. Um, so I think it was definitely a good stepping stone to uh, kind of where I want to go for now. How emotional was this for you? You worked really hard to get here. Yeah, definitely emotional. Um, family, friends, I think, uh, yeah, it was definitely a cool experience. I was grateful to be able to do it at home. I think that was a good decision uh, for me. Um, just kind of just chill out. Went golfing this morning. I think just being with family and friends, was it was really cool. Probably not yet. Uh, probably won't for a little bit, but I think it's definitely a unique experience. Um, yeah, I feel like I just got better every single year and um, kind of built me to the player I am now. And I feel like I'm ready for the for the next level and excited excited for it, looking forward to it. And I think yeah, I mean being uh, side by side with Damon, get to know him more. I know that he has he has twins too, so kind of have that in common. I think uh, it's it's, it's going to be a good situation for me. I gotta check my phone. I haven't checked it yet. It was it was buzzing. It was buzzing for about three minutes straight there. So <laughs> yeah, I'll have to check it after. Yeah, um, yeah. It was it was just kind of cool, honestly. I was definitely emotional, but I think just getting that call and uh, getting familiar with them and just kind of getting getting to know them is the biggest thing. I feel like when I get there, um, that's, that's the next step. Um, so I think definitely just it's definitely an emotional process. You kind of sacrifice a lot, especially during the pre-draft process, uh, just being away from home and everything like that. But, yeah, I'm, I think now I'm more excited than anything. Um, just looking forward to getting over there and just uh, getting it started. You're only uh, 600 miles away now from your brother. <laughs> yeah. You could have been in Miami or some other place. That would be awesome. I mean, you know, what did he say to you, I guess, just being a quarterback? Yeah, I mean, 
mean, it's, it's an hour flight to Sacramento. Um, probably going to be a West Coast family now. So, um, yeah, late late night uh, basketball is going to be watched. So I think um, for Keenan, it's just, just another competitor in the West. I think, um, yeah, we're, we're, we're going to have our battles, um, especially during the season. I think it's, it's going to be fun for the most part. I think for me as a competitor, um, nothing to take that on. And, um, I was going to want to win in Sacramento as much as I can and kind of keep keep that winning rivalry going for me. No, I did a little bit when we were at the draft lottery, but uh, no, I'm excited to get to know him more. It seems, seems like a really good kid, good head on his shoulders, and uh, someone who just wants to get better. So I feel like we'll, we'll be able to push ourselves a lot. Um, yeah, just just be the best versions of ourselves. I am, yeah. I mean, it's coming up quick. I mean, with, with this process, you got pre-draft. Uh, the draft tonight and summer league and rookie training camp goes by quick. So for me, it's just kind of soaking in the moment. Um, summer league's, summer league's going to be there quicker than I think. So it's going to be fun. Yeah, I think uh, for me, it's just, it's just a high IQ player, um, someone that can kind of do everything on the court. Um, I've always been a winner. I think that's just kind of in my blood. Um, I was just someone who's kind of who feels like they've always have more to achieve. And I think that kind of shows in the gym and um, what I've been working on these last these last few years and just getting better and better and better. Um, but yeah, I'm a selfless player. I feel like I fit a lot of roles really well. I feel like my personality is, is 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 pretty funny, a lot of dry humor. But I think yeah, I think I think they're gonna love me over there. Yeah, I did. Um, I kind of want the reason I kind of went back was just to just kind of show teams what I can do. Um, I feel like um, my role last year um, was I, wa- I wanted to help the team win it. I think this year I ca- kind of got to show a little bit more of my skill set and kind of what I can do and bring to NBA teams. So I think that was definitely um, a decision on my part was to come back, and I think it was for the best, um, kind of for the points I just said, and just kind of help me to get to where I am now because I feel like. Last year, I might have been able to get drafted. Um, wasn't for sure or anything like that, but I feel like I put myself in a good position to kind of be able to showcase my skills and showcase why I can be an NBA player. What's any part of your game that's really improved like, since the season, since the whole season? Yeah, I think for me, it's just uh, been my decision making. Kind of been getting used to a lot more just um, NBA motions, movements, um, different things like that. Just it, It's a faster pace um, in the Big Ten, obviously. Uh, better athlete. So for me, it's just been decision making, um, those quick split second decisions that I've been working on the most. This team struggled defensively last year. Um, I imagine that's going to be a big focus for why they added you to the roster. Um, just speak to that and then what you're going to bring on the defensive side of the ball. Yeah, I think it's my versatility. Um, I feel like I can guard multiple positions. Um, for me, I feel like I use my length well. Um, I'm a good help side defender. I feel like. Um, this is something I've been working on a lot through this process. It has just been defense and being able to contain my guy, be able to help the next guy. So I think my versatility, my length can help a lot. Just a couple more. What was that? Do you have an NBA number not picked out with team nine? I mean, yeah, I mean, 24 would obviously be the number, but I, I'm willing to switch for sure. <laughs> you mentioned. I mean, yeah, I knew I was going to get picked, so um, just kind of just not get anxious. That's the biggest thing. But then when I get picked, just kind of soak in that moment. I think it was the biggest thing. But, yeah, I feel like a lot of people, like, once they get kind of to your range, you can kind of get a little bit anxious, um, yeah, and just kind of worry a lot. So I, I tried not to. That was kind of my biggest thing. But I think, I mean, yeah, it, it was just a great experience. I'm glad that I did in Iowa City. I think it was um, just a perfect situation for me. I mean, obviously, you, it's kind of unique just because you can kind of see how mind game would translate into the NBA. So I think Keenan definitely having the year he had um, helped me. It just kind of showed um, what I can bring to a team. I think it just, it just kind of gets, um, like, me as a person. Um, Keenan's a really good person on and off the court. I think that's who I am, too. And um, our games definitely translate. We kind of we have 
we play the same but also different. So I think um, for me it's just kind of differences that I can bring to the game. And, um, but, yeah, I feel like the similarities are there, especially with how our games translate into the NBA. Okay. Thanks. All right. Thank you, guys. Thanks. Appreciate it.